basic accessibility standards. What does the law say about accessibility for persons with disabilities? Accessibility for persons with disability in all buildings except private homes is required by law. Non-compliance by June 2023 is punishable by large fines or even imprisonment. Where are accessible toilets required? In all buildings nearest to the entrance and in all other places adjacent to wherever there are non-accessible toilets. Who benefits from accessible toilets? Those using wheelchairs, walking stick, crutch and a walking frame. Those with permanent conditions which prevent them from easily using non-accessible toilets such as one side paralysis, leg brace or artificial limbs etc. Also those with visual impairment who benefit from a standard accessible toilet layout. Even some temporary conditions make accessible toilets important. Those include a condition causing temporary weakness such as pregnancy, asthma, dialysis, due to leg casts, etc. In all these cases, the grab rails provided in an accessible toilet are helpful. There are three types of accessible toilet, type A, type B, and ambulance. A type A toilet allows lateral transfer from either side of the commode. A type B toilet allows one side lateral transfer. The third type, ambulant, is for those who can walk but with some difficulty and may need walking assistive device and need extra grab rails but otherwise use a normal sized toilet. Features common to all accessible toilets. Signage. On or adjacent to the door there should be a sign including the international symbol for accessibility and the words of what type of toilet it is. This should be also given in braille for the visually impaired. Floor surface. Non-slip tiling. Any type of floor surface or tiling that is non-slip and not glossy. Tactile tiles. Tactile ground surface indicators. T, G, S, I. Tactile warning tile should be placed 300 millimeters from the threshold of the door. Door width. The door width, whether it's a sliding door or an opening door, is a minimum of 900 millimeters. On the inside of the door, there should be a horizontal grab rail 900 millimeters from the floor and a door handle one meter from the floor. Type A toilet. Type A toilet room dimensions. The minimum dimensions for a type A toilet is 7 foot 3 by 7 foot 7, which is 2.2 meters by 2.3 meters. Both sides clear areas. On both sides, there should be a 4 foot 4 by 3 foot clear area, 1400 by 900 millimeters. Turning circle clear area, 5 foot 11 or 1800 millimeters. Left side and right side transfer. These clear areas allow left or right side lateral transfer onto the commode. Wash basin clearance. Underneath the wash basin there should be a clear area free of shelves, cupboards, pedestals or drainage that will interfere with the feet or knees of the wheelchair user. Wash basin height. The minimum height under a wash basin should be 2 foot 3 inches or 680 millimeters. This allows for adequate clearance for a wheelchair user's knees. Commode seat height. The commode seat height should be between 1 foot 6 and 1 foot 7, which is 450 to 480 millimeters. In a unisex toilet, a urinal should be provided for the ambulant disabled. Grab rails should be provided on either side and a clear area of 4 foot 4 by 2 foot 11. Type B toilet. The type B toilet only allows transfer from one side of the commode. Where is a type B toilet required? They are required adjacent to every individual toilet or toilet block. Type B toilet room dimensions. The dimensions of a type B toilet are 5 foot 7 by 7.3. This is 1.7 meters by 2.2 meters. Ambulant toilet. Where is an ambulant toilet required? An ambulant toilet is required next to every non accessible toilet and at least one in every toilet block. In small establishments, if there's only room for one toilet, it must be of an ambulant accessible type. Advanced certificate courses are available. Please go to our website 
and see further details. Go to our website, enablemeaccess.com. E N A B L E M E hyphen A C C E S S dot C O M.